to Paul Mr. Channel. In this video, we will demonstrate the power connection and program settings for the Post on Smart 10KP all in one solar inverter. The Post on Smart 10KP all in one solar inverter is the power version of the Post on Smart 10K model, providing greater flexibility to expand your solar energy storage system. Each unit has a rated output power of 10,000 watts and up to 6 units can be connected in parallel, allowing the total system output to reach 60,000 watts. It supports 120 volts single phase output or 240 volts split phase output and can simultaneously provide both 120 volts and 240 volts AC output. The three AC output modes are discussed in detail in the previous video, which you can watch by clicking the link on the screen. Each device can connect to two sets of PV arrays with dual MPPD tracking, supporting a maximum of 22 ampere PV input per channel, and has a wide MPPD voltage range of 125 to 425 volts. The strong adaptability of PV input size of the single units becomes even more remarkable in parallel operation, allowing the inverter to accommodate various types of PV modules, complex PV system designs, and diverse lighting conditions, thereby improving overall system efficiency. The system voltage for the Post on Smart 10 kV series is 48 volt. Three inverters should be connected to the same 48 volt battery bank. First, connect the battery bank to the battery circuit breaker, ensuring the breaker is in the open option during the connection. Make sure all cable terminals are connected correctly and securely. Then connect the positive and negative terminals of the circuit breaker to the corresponding bus bars. Next, remove the terminal's cover of each inverter to assess the battery power, grade power, solar input, and low terminals. Connect the positive and negative terminals of each inverter's battery ports to the corresponding bus bars. Ensuring that cable lengths from each inverter to bus bar are identical, different cable lengths can result in different voltage drops, causing the inverters to detect varying battery voltages, which can affect the system balance and efficiency. After completing the battery connections, connect the L1, L2, and end ground wires from the grid to each inverter, configuring the AC input lights. Then connect the AC output lights, which can be configured to provide two 120 volt outputs, one 240 volt output, or both 240 volt and 120 volt outputs simultaneously. Finally, connect the PV arrays to each inverter. Each inverter should be connected to two independent PV arrays, and the single PV array should not be connected to multiple inverters or multiple PV inputs to avoid irreversible damage to the main board. Then ground each inverter. Lastly, connect the inverter's power communication ports using communication cables, distinguishing between male and female ports. After completing all wiring, carefully check polarity and stability of all connections. Once confirmed, we attach the terminal covers to the inverters and close the battery circuit. Turn on the inverter using the power switch at the bottom. When the arrow on the right side of the screen lights up, the inverter has entered inverter mode. Use the setup button to enter the setup program. Navigate to switching 31 using the up or down key to configure the power mode. 
the default state is single mode SIG, which needs to be changed to PAL. However, since the inverter is already in inverter mode, the setting cannot be changed. Therefore, use the power switch at the bottom of the inverter to turn off inverter mode. After turning off inverter mode, the inverter will remain in standby mode for a short period, during which you can confirm and save the power mode setting. After setting, a fold code 34 will appear on the main page because the other two inverters have not been set yet and the power communication has not been established. Repeat the setting process for the other two inverters. Alternatively, if the inverter mode has not been activated yet, you can set the power mode without using the power switch. After setting, turn off the inverters using the power switch. Then start all three inverters sequentially. The first inverter to start will be automatically designated as the master, indicated by master on the main page and the setting 13 will be automatically defined as 1. The other inverters will be sequentially designated as 2 and 3 according to the startup order. After completing the power communication settings, sequentially close the PV input, AC input, and AC output circuit to complete the basic configuration of the power system. This concludes the power communication guide for the Pulse on Smart 10KV all-in-one solar inverter. We hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.